So I've added audio notification to the circuit, which is comprised of a 555 timer with components to set the tone. And I also added a NPN transistor with a buzzer. So that output from the 555 timer comes out, goes to the base of that transistor, and then powers the buzzer. So here we go. The wiring's a little messy, but what I did was to enable the 555 timer, I connected a wire from the reset pin, which is pin 4 of the 555 timer, and connected it to R1 of the original circuit. So it comes over from here to here. So when no current is flowing, the voltage at this point is essentially zero. So that disables the 555 timer. And when current flows through the circuit, a voltage appears at R1 and turns on the 555 timer. And I'll show you a quick schematic of that. Okay, so here's the circuit with the audio notification as well as the original circuit, which was visual notification. So, you can see that uh, the 555 timer is configured with R3, R4, and C1, and those configure the frequency of the output, which is pin 3, and that pin 3 goes through R5, through that resistor, then to the base of Q2, and then that signal is pushed through the buzzer. And now pin 4 comes out here at the bottom and goes to R1, or the top of R1. So that voltage at R1 is seen at pin 4, so that enables or disables the circuit.